What's really good? It's your boy CJ Goodfellow back with the Boxing Clinic and more. Told you guys I was coming back with some more um, out the box videos. You know, uh, talking about some real current issues going on in all communities for the most part. I'm speaking on child support, you know, um, I know a lot of brothers that's stuck on child support and stuck doing that obligation. And um, you know, let's start off here, man. You know, during a woman's pregnancy, I could say it seems now my eyes are wide open. It seems like it's the the rate is at an all-time high for uh, single pregnant women. For whatever reason, a lot of guys are, you know, dipping out or it's not working with a girl. As soon as she get pregnant, it seems that it got too real and they go and do their own thing and uh, leave a woman to be alone during pregnancy. Or, you know, or it just don't work when they had a baby and they already co-parenting by the time before the baby even comes out. So, so that's a big issue right there. And um, women don't let nothing go. <laughs> you know, uh, you know, guys can get, you know, get into a beef and I've seen guys that shoot out fights and somewhere down the line, they're able to squash it and move past it. A lot of women hold on to things for a long, long time. And that's facts, you know. Um, so once you scorn a woman like that and you on her bad side, you know, pretty much for a long time, you're going to be on the bad side. She, you know, a lot of women feel that they have a guy's baby that's going to keep them. Not facts, you know. Um, you know, guy going to do what he going to do. And, um, and it's crazy though that women do think that way in the in in 2017 going to 2018 a lot of women think a baby going to keep a man a man don't have no no problem picking up and moving but just know once you that woman is hurt she going to do anything to hurt you you know and and including put you on child support you could be taking care of the kid giving her money you know making sure everything good and she's still mad at you that you're not with her for whatever reason she's still going to put you on child support and this is where the story begins at. And for women, women feel like putting you on child support is the right thing to do. Even if I start off, even guys that handle they uh, that handle their situation, um, just because it didn't work out, the woman uses the child sometime uh, as leverage on a man, you know, and it makes him makes him pay child support no matter if he giving her bread. He handles his obligations to the hundred and tenth percent, you know, it don't matter. Or if he isn't, that's a different story we get into. But what they're doing is putting dudes in the system, you know. You know, you're really hurting your own community, you know. You, you're really making it tough on the guy. Now, if he's handling his business, you still put him on child support, then, you know, just to get back at him, then you you a hater, you know. Real talk, you just mad because it didn't work out. And it is what it is. If you caught him cheating, you caught him doing something wrong, or he just didn't want to be with you no more. That hot box wasn't popping no more, you know. You know, you can't get mad at him, you know. It didn't work out for whatever reason it was. It didn't work out. You didn't pick the right guy, you know, and not picking the right guys at an all time high as well. But, you know, to get back at the guy by putting him on child support, you put him in the system. And every time you put a guy on child support, you put him in the system, the, the state gets its percentage from, from that man. You know, the state gets its cut. You know, sometimes the state get more than what you're getting. You're not getting that full money that, that, you, that he giving you. You know, if he give you 200 every week, let's just say towards the child, we just talking about hypothetically. You know, and let's say the state taking 200 from him every week. Well, the state is getting they probably they 30, 40 percent off top. So you're not even getting 200 no more. You feel me? So you at the end of the day, if you got a dude that want to be there for his kid, but don't want to be with you no more, but taking care of the kid, you know, you at a loss just for being a hateful mofo. And then these women get all this money in child support. And what, what they do with it, though? You know, kids be looking nasty hair and they're still asking the dad to take him get the haircut oh he need this he need that but you know when he was handing you money before you put him on child support before you came a hater you know you was getting that he ain't, who want to pay child support and double down and help you or oh, my life's about to get cut off at the end of the day if you're not budgeting your money right that's on you if you can't take care of the child you know and pay the bills at your house then i think the child need to go stay with, with his father that's how i always felt that child support not bill support not home support if you in a situation, a woman in a situation where she can't take care of the house, you know, I mean, it's time to let the kid stay with his father. You know, this is not mother support. You know, this is not family support. This is not support of your other children. It's support of that child. And if you can't, you know, supply the proper amenities for that kid, then you don't need to have them. You feel me? But for the guys out here doing wrong, who dead beats and stuff like that, of course he's going to put you on child support. And I recommended a few women do that before. If he ain't taking care of his child or he ain't coming to see his child or he don't want to help you out and he created that baby and you 100% sure that's his baby, of course you should. Of course you should, you know.
no questions asked about it. You know, and guys go, oh, you hating, you hating. But if you're not handing your obligation, how can you have a kid out here that you're not, you don't want to spend every waking moment with, that you don't want to see grow up, potty train, you know, grow up and be smart, grow up and look like you and do things like you. Who don't want to see that from their child, you know? And, and women, you know, you guys pick the shittiest men, you know, and I heard stories where God switched up when I had the baby. I feel you, but it's signs. The signs are there. It's up to you to read the signs and know, and know what the signs are. You know, if you got children and he not in, before he with you and you don't see him always have his, he don't never have his children, but he ain't trying to spend time with his baby mama saying that he ain't doing stuff. Then what makes you think he not going to put the same thing on you? Come on, get smart. You know, if he, if he can't, support himself and he ain't got his own crib he still staying in his mama's basement why would you want to have a baby with that guy he don't deserve no uchi wachi <laughs> you know until you get up on his legs and why is you having unprotected sex with guys you don't know or guys you don't you know that you know they don't care about you they're still fucking around that you number two number three number four on the black on, on, in a black book you know you're not even a priority so it's about how you pick your man and it's not easy out here but you want to pick a man that can at least support himself and, and potentially support you Having a baby is, is, is a, a lifetime connection, you know, and I don't have any kids, biological kids at all. So, um, and, you know, thank God I don't, you know, at this point, you know, um, because it's, it's really, really hard to find a woman uh, that's going to stay true to you. And it's really hard for you to stay true to her um, until you have some years in. Just keep it real, you know. And because she cook clean, you know, all that. We had the conversation yesterday about the right woman to, father, to be a wife or, or mother of your children. You know, so I won't get deep into that. That that video was in the archives from yesterday. But it's all about, it's all about, you know, it's all about the, the, the guys, the guys that you pick women. If he a thug and he trapping, you know, how long do you think that's going to happen? How long do you think he going to be dead or not in jail? Or in jail, I mean. How long do you think that's going to happen to? It will take to happen. You know, you got to ask yourself some questions, you know. And uh, it's all about stability in a relationship. You know, and a lot of guys are not going to be honest and truthful. And guys are going to cheat and do what they do, you know. But at the point in time, it's a point in time where God needs to slow down and will slow down and become more mature. You know, you just got to wait and pick and see who the right one. And, you know, wrap it up for the most part.